I am far on the east side of Las Vegas. <laughs> Gotta make sure I don't get hit by a car. And heading to the Goodwill. All right. You know what our first thing to do is? Well, first we're gonna look at our color of the week is orange. And then next we have to get us a lucky card. Okay, we're gonna peek in the little side room where they keep furniture and lamps and art first. Okay, this caught my eye. What do we have here? That is an older lamp, mid-century. What do we have on the bottom? Oh, we have some marks. Actually, we could potentially track down who makes this pottery. Now, what I'm seeing though, is I'm not seeing a price. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, let's give the art a look-see. Now, I did just come from a spectacular estate sale, so my eyes are a little set on high quality right now. That is the goal here. Okay, I found these little seahorse and sand dollar prints. These do look vintage. Dollar ninety-nine. See, are you also dollar ninety-nine? You are. Okay, those are really cool. I'm grabbing those. Look at this pretty mirror. Oh, that is wood. It's beveled. It's gorgeous, but I have no place to deal with such a thing. I found this really cool frame. It's made to look like the antique frames, but it's not. But it's new and it's packaging. And I am sure that I have something that can use a frame like this. So for $1.99, I'm grabbing it. Now, I can't remember if this is one that I looked at the last time I was here. But this is definitely a vintage print. Oop, I gotta watch the glare. I don't see a signature. It could be under the matting. But the details are really nice. This actually, I'm not completely sure if it's a print or a painting. I'm gonna have to look with a loop. But it's $3.99. Came from the little gallery from Springfield, Massachusetts. It was good enough that somebody professionally framed it. So I'm gonna grab that. Alright, we are out to the hard goods, and let's see what we can find. Reemsma? From Rosenthal, but I don't know. I don't know what that is. Interesting little things, but I'm really, really am looking for some very high caliber things today. That is an odd looking little, what are you supposed to be even? I'm not exactly sure, a walrus? Is it a walrus? He's not very well done. The hippo's kind of cool though. I could get behind the hippo. I just bought a hippo at another store recently as well. He's got no chips. He should bring 20 to $25, so we'll grab him. soapstone owl okay what is she almost looks like a blue sky are you blue sky oh you're broken on the top yeah you're blue sky yeah 2001 14.99 unfortunately she's broken she might be worth that I want to put her up here for somebody to admire there is a cool elephant looks like an Adler Looks like Kurt Adler, but this one is not signed and he's got a broken tusk. Darn. Okay, we're gonna keep looking. Oh, look at the bug's life. 
Oh, that's heavy. What are, what are you? Just a figurine? Just a resin figurine of the bug's life. But again, we've got we've got chips. Is that a chip? Hold on. All right, I gotta look closer at this. I'm looking right here, this little edge. It's just enough of a little bit of a chipping that I'm hesitating as much as I like it. Sorry, buddy. Somebody will find you though. But what is this trinket box? It feels like a hobbyist piece. It is a hobbyist piece. They just have a feel to them. All right, let's see. Those are interesting. Oh, fans. I've bought stuff like this before and I just don't have the customers for it. I know they can do well, but I'm not really listing on places like eBay, which is where stuff like this really needs to get listed. I'm thinking about starting to put some stuff over there, but currently I'm not, so I'll leave these for somebody else. But as I'm down here, I spot this little pottery leaf dish here. I love the glaze. It's another hobbyist piece, although it says Mako 08. Hmm, so it's not as old as I thought it was. It's being made to look old. Had that been more like a 1950s, 60s piece, I'd have picked it up. Okay, he's pretty fabulous. Let's check him out. He is wood. Ooh, he's $14.99. All right. It's not completely out of the question. We just have to, we have to do a little Google search and see what something like him sells for. So he's a Pier 1 shelf sitter lion and there's only been one that's sold and for $25. So I can't pay 15. I can't pay 15. Had he been 10, I probably would have picked him up, but just can't do 15, buddy. One of the Indiana glass candle holders and it is a cat and cats sell really well. So I will pick that one up. Let's see, we got some sand in a bottle, nothing too fancy, but then next to it we have a little stained glass sun catcher for $4.99. Yes. And this for 99 cents is going in my bathroom. Hey, oh it's got a candle in it. Okay, what was can I please have a 9 dollars for new Okay, it's just a little, little teapot. Okay, I see something that looks mid-century. Oh, he looks really nice for $4.99. I am pretty sure this is a mid-century ashtray. We'll grab him. All right. Feeling good about the purchases so far. Who is she? Nadal from Spain. Valiente. She looks very fancy. And I don't see any damage. I think I'm going to look her up just to make sure she sells for at least $15. Yep, doing a quick search says she's a safe buy. Got a Oki Finoki Park. A little souvenir. got a box here oh it's just a like an award or something paperweight little Mickey Mouse with a chewed up nose all right I don't see anything else on this shelf that's kind of cool oh it's it's heavy too don't really want to deal with that we've got a decanter it just has a B on the bottom I don't know who marks their decanters, just B. I don't think Jim Beam does. Maybe you know. Tell me in the comments if you do. Don't be the same, be better. I like that sentiment. That is a candle. What are you doing, little Miss uh, Cinderella? Just sitting there looking pretty. You got both your shoes on? Let me check. All right, we're over in their little clear glass section here. I really love this pattern so much, and yet it's just not worth picking up. Makes me sad, because I do love it. It's a nice little 
hobbyist piece there. Oh my gosh, they got a whole bunch of them too. Can we put extra like in there? Top shaped perfume bottle. Don't know who does that one. Oh, look at the little birdies. Carrot. Are you soaps? $4.99. No, your little $4 cement How about this birds $4. for 99 oh, cents. Oh, they're duckies. Okay, yep, getting them. And their friends. See some bunnies back here that look pretty good. They're like Blanco quality. I really like the quality of these bunnies. It is the type of thing I look for. They are $5.99 each. I am gonna snag them. This caught my eye. Is it a light fixture? globe or is it actually no it's round on the base okay that's a mystery piece the holiday shelves are just a little on the uh, light side right now this is a Jack Skellington who definitely needs to meet a roll of tape and get all of that hair off of him Oh, and he's pretty dirty too. I don't know if you could just throw him in the washing machine. I'm not gonna deal with it. A little lone carrot. <laughs> what? Why? And then we have the scarecrow. He is broken. Oh yeah, he's broken there and there. $2.99, oh, he's a music box. That's a shame. I wish he wasn't broken. Ooh, that looks like little lizard wind chimes for $4.99. I'll take it. This is the store that I got the really cool wind chimes from a little while back that I still haven't put anywhere. I don't know why. I know why. Just time. It's just a time thing. Taking a trip trying to now get caught up from that trip. Before the trip, it was getting ready for the trip. <laughs> this is my life. This is a little metal. Oh, it's painted. Oh, I hate that somebody painted that. I don't know if you could get that paint off of there and restore it. It's not a project I wanna take on, so hopefully somebody gets it and restores it. All right, metals, let's see what else you got. Reva shelf and a conglomeration of things that make no sense to me. This looks a little bit like Nombi, but it's not Nombi quality. Nope, it's not heavy enough for Nombi. Oh, look at the little mosaic birdhouse for $4.99. Is it actually? Yeah, it really is a tie. It's like they put something over it. It does have a lot of damage here, though. I think this is not a homemade one. This one was made in China. I'm going to leave it because that's quite a bit of damage. But I do like the concept. Hello, little wooden kitty on the shelf. I do quite well with these little wood cat statues. $4.99. We'll take him. Oh, that makes me feel better. Ooh, that's a pretty box. It's got a monogram on the top. Is it a humidor? Let's see. Oh, if I can get it open. Come on. Oh my gosh. There we go. Yes, it's a humidor. It's kind of missing some of its parts. This would have been a very, very expensive item in its former life. They went $20. It, it needs too much repair for me to get it. Be a unicorn in a field of horses. Absolutely. Although there's nothing wrong with being a horse either. Simple little box there. Just some fun stuff. Oh, look at the little cable car. Little wood San Francisco cable car. It is missing a wheel. It's got a name on there. Sola Brass, made in Taiwan. Oh, it's got damage on the sticker too. Well, that's a bummer. All right, you've got to stay, buddy. Right, and no more signage that we need. 
or baskets. I did look. All right, let's hope there's something groovy in the vases. I always love when there's some mid-century things in other parts of the store. It does bring my hopes up that there could be some mid-century pottery vases hiding here somewhere. I like this. I wish it had said, you know, made in Italy because then you can kind of compensate for this little purposely abstract sort of painting, but I think it's just a just a cheap import, sadly. It's really cute though. All right, mid-century, where are you? Oh my gosh, I love the watermelon bowl. Who makes the watermelon bowl? Cottage collection, $6.99. Ah, oh, big chip. All right, darn it, loved that. It's probably about that time in the day though where it's a little picked over. I'm also at the time of the day where they normally bring out some new carts of stuff. So let's hope for that. This is beautiful. They are asking $14.99 and it has a chip. Darn it. Okay. You stay there, buddy. All right, we're running out of row to find some cool mid centuryness I'm not seeing anything. All right, let's look at some fakery. Oh, these are really pretty. I think the ball of daisies. Oh, it's a oh, it's somebody put that on a pumpkin. And this one, I don't know what kind of flowers there are, but those are little projects, little project pumpkins. Quite nice, quite nice. Oh, that is an old milk glass punch bowl and cups. Sadly, not worth the hassle factor. It's a shame because it's a pretty cool vintage item nice platter who makes you your newer oh what does that say espana lifestyle and it's the boca came from macy's somebody probably paid quite a bit to buy that at macy's in the day but it is a platter and i do not want to deal with a platter oh let's look through more of the kitcheny items that's a Nice vintage shade, but that is $15. Let's see what else we've got. And please always feel free to let me know down in the comments if I missed something you would have picked up. Here is a pretty modern picture. It was $24.99 when it was new. They're asking $12.99. As much as I love it, there is no margin in that for me. This is a piece of Pyrex. I think that's called the Crazy Daisy pattern. $3.99. That's actually not bad. I think I'll grab that. Let's see, one last little shelf here. The man who walks with God always gets to his destination. Oh, that's beautiful. I have sold one of these before, so I think I'll pick this one up for $3.99. Okay, up on top here, I found this beautiful old tray with tiles. Let's see. Oh yes, guess what? They priced it for me. $12.99 on that lamp. Uh. I just don't want to get anybody in trouble for pricing it for me. Hmm, I don't see any damage. I'm looking. I think this is beautiful. Oh, I didn't look at the price. $8.99? Yes, I am going to grab that for $8.99. All right. Let's see if there's any cool glassware. I wonder if these are the, uh, oh, what's the name of it? It starts with a B. I wanna say like, oh, I wanna say Bocelli, but I feel like that's wrong. I know what it is, but I can't think of it. You ever do that? Just like, you know that you know something, but when you try to spit the word out, it just isn't there. And then it drives you crazy until you come up with it. So I'm gonna have to look it up. Bormiolo Rocco is what I was thinking of, but I don't think that's it. Don't think that's what those are, actually. We've got a 
Grey Goose vodka. I used to always pick those up. They've gone down in value because now they're like identified out on the market and there's a lot of resellers who don't understand that if we all collectively kept things at market value, we could keep things at market value, if you know what I mean. I love these. I love these crazy stem libbies so much. These would only be a dollar each because they're half price. There's only three. Nope, nope, be sensible, Danny. Leave them behind. That is a cool Mickey Mouse. The problem is this kind of stuff is now being sold at home goods in kind of mass quantities and then getting put online. It's that same thing. It's supply demand, you know. But uh, if the price stayed kind of consistent among resellers, we could all get that price. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Darth Tater Spud Wars, Idaho. That's kind of funny, $3.99. I think it's only like a $12 to $15 mug, but it's funny. It locked up, it bombed, it crashed. Oh, it's a computer reference. Tasmanian Devil. Taz is not one of my favorite characters. I have a little personal issue with Taz. So I tend not to want him around. I'm sorry if you love Taz. That's kind of a cool mug. It makes you. Ah, Royal Norfolk. That is sold in like the dollar stores. I'm rounding the corner and spotted these little like sauce cups now I have actually sold something very similar to this before I'm gonna have to go back and look and see what I found out about them but they're enamels and they all have these beautiful designs in there they're all in good shape it's five dollars for the set I am gonna grab those oh there is a mid-century set of glasses. Now these are not Dorothy Thorpe. Dorothy Thorpe did not make the fade. Dorothy Thorpe made the band. Same era, different maker. $8.99. I feel like that's a really good price and finding another one of these shouldn't be that hard but even just the holder has some value. I'm not even sure. Is that... I mean it came in together. I'm sure that's why they did this. Is that the holder for these glasses? I mean, it's kind of cool either way. All right, I'm going to grab them. Oh, we've got a big book box here. Huh, I wonder what would have gone in there. Look at these brass hinges. I like this box. How much is this box? This box is, oh, it's got a name on it. Oh, let's see. Oh, it's Bombay. 1991 Bombay Company for $6.99. Oh, it is quite heavy. There was something else right here, like a little book plate thing. And I'm not exactly sure what to do about that. I feel like, oh, man, this is one of those ones I'm, I'm a little torn with. Probably is a good thing to resell. I don't know what's missing here. It's big. I'm going to leave it for somebody else. All right, that's a pretty cake serving set, I guess you would call that, with the plate and the, or pie server. Lovely, lovely. 222 fifth. Love that pattern. See what else we've got. Uh, nothing too exciting here, except maybe some more bowls that kind of match those other ones I got. No, these have apples on them. They also have a name. Oh, wait. Can we read the name? Es España. España. These, these aren't the same. These don't have the texture on them. All right. Giving a quick look through the plastics. For anything out of place, mostly. I'm not seeing anything. Ooh, Mom said she could use some more variegated yarn, and green is the perfect color for turtles. Ooh, that's a pretty blue color, too. They're only $1.99. I think I'll get her this one too. Is this a little sewing basket thing? It folds. Oh, what would you put in there? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you would put in there. What would you carry in there? 
sweet. I just don't quite understand its purpose. It looks like a Mary Engelbright. It is Mary Engelbright. Oh, how much are you? Two ninety nine. All right, let's uh, let's do something with that. Oh, I do love looking through the crafty section. It fills my brain with all kinds of ideas. Then I go back to that like time thing. I want to make time to do some things that bring me joy. It's kind of my life quest right now is finding that time. All right, this doesn't look like much, but then I looked at it and I do believe this is like a Florentine mirror frame. <sighs> It's got some damage though, and it's, I mean, even in that it's not worth a whole lot, but it's a cool find over here. This is also the store that I got all of those vintage beads before, and look at all these little wood guys for 99 cents. I'm going to pick those up. had a little Burberry look to it, but it definitely doesn't have a Burberry feel. It's a cute little purse. Not super quality. Kind of cool. No name. What are you? Oh, look at a cute little bunny. Definitely not a good quality purse though. All right, I don't see anything. Wait, wait, what are you? You don't have a name? No, no name. Just a good looking purse, but you're not leather. Oh, that's, I mean, there's some that just like, they look good, but then you get your hands on them and they're just, no, no, not quite there. All right, I'm scouting around in the miscellaneous linens. Looking for pillow covers. Maybe things they don't know what they are. Tea towels. Some tea towels can do really well. Like, oh, that one's cute. Let's take a look at that. What are you? Hmm. Then trying to figure out how old they are. So it is made in Britain. All cotton. $1.99. I think I will grab that one. I always hope that it has a friend. Kind of cute, but they feel newer. Let's see some colorful, colorful fabric here. Oh, this looks like that same fabric that was on that other little thing that I got. These are pillowcases. Are they handmade? How do you tell? Let's see. I think these are handmade pillowcases with Mary Engelbright fabric. They're very sweet. Let's see, how much are you? Uh-oh, where's the price tag? Oh no. Oh no. Say it isn't so. Oh, come on. Okay, I don't, I'm not seeing a price tag. Um, really disappointed. Because those are really cute. And you would think something like a pillowcase, just, there should be some standard pricing. Like it, that, that shouldn't be a thing that you can't sell it. I'm, yeah, no price tag. Gotta put it back peek through some of the other things over here. Rugs, tablecloths. Holiday time is a good time. People start having company over and they want to set their table. And then there's a chicken doily thing. What are you, honey? Like you can't just be a doily because you've got this part. It goes over something, right? Like a tea cozy kind of a thing. 
I don't think I don't think I need I don't think I need this. He's fun, but I don't think I need it. But look, look what I did find. All right, I'm peeking through the jewelry, but there's really nothing that is enticing me. I thought this was interesting, though. These rhinestone bra straps. What a clever, clever idea. If you can't hide them, make them bling. Okay, this is the moment I was waiting for. I knew that they were going to bring out a car to stuff right about now. Some more yarn. Anything, anything special for little turtles? I don't see anything. Hmm, oh, nothing very exciting in this batch. Okay, maybe they'll bring out another one. So, I did it again. Um, my brain's been a little distracted over the course of the last few weeks. And what happened was I had a friend show up at the store and I fully intended to go back and, you know, do a, a proper completion of the video, but it didn't happen. <laughs> so here we are. So I thought I would give you an update on the bird situation and bougie. Bougie, everybody's worried about you. They're all worried about you. They want to know if you're okay. Bougie is okay. Uh, the We still don't have our test results back. I actually need to call the vet today and find out if anything's come back. You can see the door is open. Bougie can come out right now. Bougie chooses not to. For all those who say cages are cruel, birds actually love their cages. Uh, it's a safe place. But I digress. Um, so it, the, to put it into perspective, the, the virus we might be dealing with is one, it's, it kind of lays dormant in the birds until something happens, they get stressed or their immune system compromises or something like that. Um, and then they get sick. So basically if, if it comes back positive, uh, I'm probably going to have him tested to see if he's a carrier and then it's just a matter of just uh, watching him uh, making sure there's if there's any signs like we get on it like right away um, it's not curable but it's treatable right you you're agreeing are you agreeing I like that you're agreeing yes he's been kind of a ornery bird lately because he's he's finishing up his molt and he's still got a few pin feathers uh, but he really, really doesn't like me to deal with them. I have wrapped him in the towel. I have done all the things. Uh, he gets very, very upset and I don't want to stress him out. So we just kind of let him deal with it. Yeah. We just got to deal with you where you're at, right? Yes. Yeah. Right? Crazy bird. If I pull the camera away, he'll probably come out. But it's been a very, very good week. It's been an eventful week. I have the dress uh, from a few videos back. I have the dress being altered. I found an amazing woman here in Las Vegas. If, anybody in Las Vegas, if you ever need uh, a dress or a suit or something altered, uh, the woman who I was referred to, uh, she is adorable and amazing and she comes to your house. Like she came to my house and fitted me. So that was like super cool. Um, she's also the one who's altering Noah's suit because uh, she does work for a local place. I don't want to give too much personal information. But but if anybody needs a good referral, I can refer you to her. Um, so anyway, that's being done. And, um, you know, we're in those last couple of months of planning and getting ready and and all of that, I'm thinking, I'm still debating, am I going to drive? Am I going to fly? Am I going to drive? Am I going to fly? I kind of want to, I kind of want to, I kind of want to drive. But then I kind of want to fly. I don't know. I don't know. What would you do? I mean, it is about a five hour drive compared to a one hour flight. But then, you know, you got the whole hassle of the airport and the transportation from the airport. I'm like all these things, all these things are like making me a little wackadoodle crazy. And I told you if we ignored him, he'd come out. Like, because he can't stand to be ignored. Can you? 
You can't stand to be ignored, can you? <laughs> You're not going to say a word. You're just not going to say a word. You're just going to sit there and look cute. Yes, everybody loves you, Boosh. Everybody loves you. Yeah, if they only knew that you would bite them if they came near. Because <laughs> you are a mean little bird like that. Ha ha ha. Right. <laughs> so that is what is going on in my world. I am planning to do a live stream this coming Friday night, which, or what's the date? It's the, I think it's the 26th, September 26th. Correct me if I'm wrong. I am planning to do a live stream here, here on the channel. So uh, I hope you will come back and join me and we'll just talk about everything that's going on and life and interact and just have what I call a little downtime because I don't get much of that these days. So that, that's what I consider the live streams. Uh, so I will get that scheduled soon. You'll be able to bookmark it. You can also, if you would like to be notified of, of when I do live streams, you can text live streams or yes, live stream. See, we use it for NSN, the Niche Shopping Network, so, but I, I have permission to use it for this. So if you would like to be notified of the live streams, text live streams to 929 Oh gosh, 56 niche, but I forget. Oh, five, six, six, four, two, four, three, right. It's 56 niche. See, that's why I, I did it with a word. Anyway, you can text that. It's a real phone number. Do not ask me questions through that text. They do not get answered. Um, if you need to ask me a question, you need to contact me. I have the niche lady at gmail.com. I can be a little slow on answering because I get hundreds of emails a day, but I do still try to get through each one personally. And if you have an issue with an order you've placed through the nicheladyshop.com, that you just need to contact through the contact form. Make sure you let me know what item it's about. Okay, I think I did all my, all my housekeeping stuff there. So with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. Right, Bougie? Make it fun? Yeah? No? <laughs> oh, okay.